Hello everyone and welcome to Quick Med where medicine is explained quickly and easily. In today's video, we will be discussing erysipelas, so let's get to it. Erysipelas is a bacterial infection involving the upper dermis, and you can see this highlighted here on our skin diagram. To understand this a little better, let's contrast this with other skin infections that we see. So erysipelas occurs in the upper dermis, as you can see here. If we contrast this with impetigo, we see that this is a more superficial skin infection. And then these two differ from cellulitis, which is actually an infection of the deeper dermis and subcutaneous fat. The most common cause of erysipelas is beta-hemolytic strep, specifically group A strep or strep pyogenes. And because this is an infection, patients will present with inflammatory symptoms, so you will have skin erythema or redness, edema or swelling, as well as warmth. And this infection develops as a result of bacteria entering any breaks in the skin, and this can be due to a wide variety of things like an abrasion, a penetrating wound, an ulcer, insect bite, or injection drug use. Classically, erysipelas presents as a bright red patch, and this is going to be pretty homogenous or pretty red throughout. It's also going to have raised borders with a clear demarcation, which is very key for erysipelas. It's almost as if you can draw a line around where the rash is involved, differentiating it from the uninvolved and the involved skin. And as you can see in this photo, it can have a characteristic butterfly distribution where it's present on both cheeks as well as the nose. Let's now talk about diagnosis and treatment of erysipelas. It's usually based on clinical presentation, and so it is a clinical diagnosis. However, in real-life cases, it can be difficult to distinguish from cellulitis, and oftentimes there is an overlap between the two. Most cases of erysipelas can be managed with oral antibiotics in the outpatient setting, but you mainly want to remember that you need to cover for beta-hemolytic strep because this is the most common cause. So some of the more commonly used antibiotics here will be amoxicillin, cephalexin, and cefadroxyl. All right, everyone, we hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe. In our upcoming video, we will discuss cellulitis, which can often be difficult to distinguish from erysipelas, as we mentioned before. We'll discuss the similarities and differences between these two skin infections, so look out for that video. And as always, good luck studying, everyone.